All right, we have one more property to go over, and that is called the distributive property. Distributive means to distribute. So when you look at a problem like this, 6 times 18, and you say, I can't do that in my head because I don't know my 18 times tables. This is where it helps out. So when you take 6 times 18, you can actually break it up. So now, taking that 18, I'm going to keep the 6 the same, and I'm going to break it up into two separate problems. So what can we break 18 up to? We can break 18 up to 10 and 8. Both those are easy to work with. So we're going to take our 6 times 10 plus our 6 times 8. And we know 6 times 10 using um, our identity property, 6 times 1 is 6. And then we're going to add that 0. So we get 60. And then 6 times 8 is 48. So when we take 6, 60 plus 48, we will get our answer of 108. So 6 times 18 is 108. And that is how you use the distributive property to help you do uh, math mentally. Let's look at this next problem. 45 times 60. That's kind of a difficult problem to work with. So let's break it apart. Let's listen to how I say the first number. 45. It tells us how to break it up. If your number is greater than 20, it already tells you that. So like 18 doesn't work. You can't break it up to 8 and 10. You have to break that up to 8 and 10. But 21, you can break it up to 20 and 1. 45, you break up to 40 and 5. So then we take 40 times 60. Look at the non-zero digits first. 4 times 6 is 24. We add the two zeros. So we get 2,400. Two and then we take that 5 times 6, which will give us 30. And then we add a zero is 300. So when we take 2,400 plus 300, we get 2,700. So 45 times 60 is 2,700.